Hi, Bob here. I'm going to try a demonstration on how particles repel one another with the rapid collapse of the charged field. And what you got here in front of us in the camera it's like a petri dish with a lid on it and I have iron filings in it and I have built an arrangement so I'm going to show you that when I'm done here and I'm, I'm hoping this will show up but we're going to charge it up with a Wimhurst and I'm going <clears> to <throat> when it you'll hear the spark of the discharge this the rapid discharge causes the iron filings to fly away uh, you need you can try this at, at home right, yourself but you need a container because this <clears throat> filings will fly everywhere I mean you'll have and it's not they're so fine it's not good to breathe them anyhow or anything like that I'm gonna try it see what happens you should see a circle form right over there's a center terminal and every time you hear the spark or it collapses the field it repels the iron filings they just they literally jump all over the place it's just a real thin layer but it'll keep the action going and I think you can pick that up you can see that it is kind of hard to tell but that's the effect you get now now I can I think I can I'm going to try and lower all this but it's kind of a fun experiment because when you There we go. I'm going to hold that there for now. And uh, I'm going to let it play, but uh, I'll record rather. This being uh, February the uh, 11th, actually. February, November 11th, 2011. Anyways. As you can see, I'm, I'm still recording here. Let's see what we got here. All right. You see the base of the Wimmers. There we go. I'm going to see if I can slide that out of the way a little bit. If I can get in here with it, it'll be better. Now I can show you what I did. See, there's the whole setup, and uh, there's the connection to the Wimhurst. The only the reason I had to do it over by the window, I needed more natural light to get a, I, I think it's going to come out so I can not play it back. But anyways, all you've got here, this is this is like a petri jar it's just iron filings you can see how loose they are now don't you don't need a lot <clears throat> I don't know I don't know this that I can't show you I don't think it's gonna I had a magnet here it's gonna prove to you that but they are iron filings now you this <clears throat> but they accelerate as soon as a field a rapid collapse of the field it just they, they not all the particles, but the particles right over the the uh, center terminal, which is on this little gizmo I set up. It's just a uh, it's a this happens to be a steel rod, and it comes down through the cap of the small jar, and I have it set up where it's adjustable, so I can. And there's a aluminum tab. Uh, I don't, yeah, aluminum tab right there makes electrical connection. I happen to be using a hook to the negative side of the Wimhurst. 
I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there's the steel tap. This is just a small peanut butter jar cleaned up with ballast in it. And I, this happens to be a, laund a cap off of one of a liquid laundry bottle. And, and I made the, uh, I made the uh, center rod adjustable. I use a, uh, uh, actually it's a brass uh, ferro coupling, a quarter inch that slides in and I just crimp, it just clamps down nice and snug because I took the ferrules out and just used, I just used uh, O-rings to compress it with. Anyways, you can use aluminum, or I mean aluminum also. Here's one aluminum. It's less, hard, it's harder to pick up in the camera, so I didn't try to show you that. And, and it, it does the same thing, and you could try other materials. Any fine powder, I would think, like a talc. If you ground up, you could try salt, you could try sugar. You could try even see what pepper would do. Maybe real fine sawdust. It, it, it's an, it, kind of an interesting thing. But what happens when you charge it up, you, you're charging up all the particles too by <clears throat> by induction and then when the, when the spark occurs it collapses an entire field and that reaction the particles not all the particles but particles are ejected into the air and that's why you have to use that's why you want to use a closed container like this or you'll have this stuff will be everywhere like the aluminum it's a very fine powder and I certainly don't recommend breathing that. Well anyways I thought that this is a short experiment, uh, small, but it's kind of a fun thing to watch because this stuff will take off. The first time I ever did it I I had not, uh, iron filings and I just laid them on a flat plexiglass plate with a similar setup and I'm telling you I had iron filings everywhere and I do mean everywhere, so don't do it in the open. Use a closed container, and you can observe it quite well. But it uh, it works, and uh, you can study and figure out why the sudden collapse. It's kind of interesting. The 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 uh, the uh, polarization and charging and the sudden release. Uh, the collapse of the field, how it ejects the particles. It's not a particle accelerator or anything, but it does make them jump, and they will go quite a ways out if you are outside the container. Well, okay, I just wanted to make a quick video of that. I hope you can ha build one yourself in some fashion and, and, and observe that. It's quite an interesting thing. All right, talk to you later. Bye.